Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, survey page. How to create a survey page using Suitlet. See, many times it is demanded by the company that they want to conduct a survey and they want to take the feedback from the customer and the users. So how to do that? First of all, I have created already a survey page here. First of all, I will upload them and then I will show you how it works. I will add this. Now deploy script. Available without login and the event type will be get response and then save it. Now see here what we will see. Now see, you can see here, first of all, two headers and then how would you rate your satisfaction Basically, survey is uh, conducted to, for the, uh, taking the ratings of our services and the products. So these are some radio buttons we have taken. I have given you an example of radio buttons. Now, how it works. See here, first of all, here is the NUI server widget. That's it. And after that, we will take HTML header form dot add field or cust page header. Here we have written the value. You will see here we pride ourselves and then another heading that is we uh, when answering questions on a scale here now after that the main thing that we need to add the list of radio buttons how to add them first of all product rating we created a variable add field and then we have taken cust page lbl product rating similarly for rdo product rating we have taken cust page rdo product rating so this is for product rating. This is for labor, uh, service rating, right? Now, first of all, LBL product rating and RDO product rating. Let me show you the LBL service rating also. Here is cust page LBL service rating, right? Now cust page RDO service rating. First of all, let's talk about product rating. We have taken a variable product rating. Then first of all, add field. That is the ID is cust page LBL product rating. Inside that we are going to define start row. So form dot add field that is first cust page RDO product rating label and the source that is P1 and that this is the type radio. Now we have started the row. Here is start row field layout type. Then similarly, this is the mid row. So you have to take care of start row and the end row. That is the last radio button end row. And all of these are comes under mid row. So this thing you have to take care of after that. Similarly, P1, P2, P3 type is radio button label is three and the source is P3. Another is label is four type, uh, source is P4. Here is the type. So likewise, we have added total 10 radio buttons. Now let's come to the service rating. Service rating also we need to add. So ID will be the same for this RDO product rating. You will see here. Yes, cost page RDO product rating. And for this LBL service rating, here is. Where is that service rating begins? Here it is. Cust page RDO service rating. And here is LBL service rating. Now we have to do the same thing. Start row. This is first radio button, second radio button, 
third, fourth, fifth, total up to 10 radio buttons. And here is the end row. End row means no further radio buttons will be added. So in this NetSuite, this thing you have to take care of. Now, likewise, you can add checkboxes also for taking uh, conducting a survey. You can add checkboxes. You can add a drop down list box, anything that is up to you. So I recommend you to take uh, uh, to practice this with checkboxes also. And if you face any difficulty, you can write down in the comment box. I will try to resolve them. So this is most important. Why? Because most of the companies in, under a project, when you are working on a project, the company uh, demand that we have to take uh, conduct a survey for taking the feedback. So at that time, you need to create this type of survey forms. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe my channel and keep practicing this survey form. And if you face any problem, then you can note down in the comment box. Thanks. Thanks for watching.